Hey guys, Tyler from Chrome Squad here. Today I'm going to show you a new program that you can use in your classroom. If you've ever used Google Classroom, it's a similar concept, except in this program, you utilize videos to facilitate interaction between the student and the teachers. It's called Flipgrid. Let's take a look at it. So right here is the home page for the website. The spot right here is where the students will input their grid code, which is how they join your grid. Let's move into the teacher side of Flipgrid so you can see how to create a grid and how to use it. Press the teacher login button, or if you don't have an account yet, click the create free account button and then log in here. Once you're logged in, this is the home page for the teacher side of Flipgrid. As you can see, this screen is where I can view all of my grids, and the dashboard icon up here lets me view different statistics about responses to my grids. This is the screen where you can view all of your grids from. As you can see, I already have a sample grid created here. Now, keep in mind, with a free account, you can only create one grid, but in one grid, you can have multiple topics, which you can have different responses to. So, from this main screen here, you can uh, do a couple different things with your grid. You can make it active or inactive, and then you can also click on the share button, which gives you different ways to let people join your grid, whether it's with a code or with a URL. So, if you haven't created a grid yet, you can click here to create one, but since I've already made one, I'm going to go into the grid that I have and show you the different topics. So, here are all the different topics on your grid. I'm going to show you the process of creating a topic. Creating a topic is kind of like creating an assignment on Google Classroom. Basically, you'll be given some different options for how you want students to respond to it, and then they can open it and submit video responses. So just click right here to create a new topic. From this first box, you can choose the title, the response time, and then you can also add a description box to let students know how exactly you want them to respond. This box down here also lets you choose when you want the topic to go live and when you want the topic to go away. The second box is where you can upload different resources to give more instruction or detail to your topic. So you can either use Flipgrid to record a video explaining the topic, or you can upload, add a video, or you can even upload images. If you don't want to add a video to your topic, you can also add a link uh, with instructions explaining the topic. This box right here allows you to change the privacy settings and it also lets you alter the way students can respond to your topic. Alright, so once you're satisfied with your choices, go ahead and click Create Topic. After you hit Create, you'll be presented with a code which students can use to join your topic. You'll also be given a link that they can go to to go into your grid and also a link to go straight into your topic. So to show you how to respond to a topic as a teacher, I'm going to join the classroom and submit a video response to respond to. Okay, so now when I click onto this topic, I can see the different responses. As you can see, this is the response that I just submitted. So when I click on it, I get to watch the response, and then I can click on a couple different tabs here uh, with some different ways to respond to it. One of the other things that you can do when you're setting up a topic is change the way that you want to grade it. Most of the topics come with this preset rubric of performance and ideas, but you can customize your rubric to however you want. So you can go into here and give them a grade on how you thought their video was, and then also leave a comment for feedback. Just like topics and grids, you have a variety of ways of sharing the response. You can either click on the share response button, which gives you a URL, or you can click on the actions button, which gives you different ways to share it as well. So those are pretty much the basics of Flipgrid. Um, I think it's a pretty cool program for facilitating student and teacher interaction. I think it's an easy way to put out assignments and then also get fast and easy responses. Um, I hope this video helped you to learn a little bit more about Flipgrid and maybe you'll even try it out in your classroom. Make sure to watch our other how-to and tutorial videos if you have any other questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.